question two, what is the measure of angle A round to one decimal place and enter degrees? So we do want to enter degrees because we're finding an angle. That was the last one. So we want angle A. So let's label our sides. We have the hypotenuse. We have the opposite and we have the adjacent. So again, we have all three sides here. That means you get to pick sine, cosine, or tangent. What's your favorite? I'm going to pick sine because there's no square roots. But you're going to get the same answer whatever you pick. So sine of some angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. And then we're going to fill in what we know. So angle A is what we're solving for. The opposite is 14 and the hypotenuse is 16. So to get rid of sine, you take the opposite of sine on both sides of the equation. The opposite of sine is sine inverse. And you write it like it's a negative one exponent, but it's not an exponent, it's an inverse. And we do that on the left and the right. We keep it balanced. So what happens is sine and sine inverse are opposites. They're just one. They go away, and we're left with just A. And then this we put in the calculator. So I'm going to go to functions, sine inverse, 14 over 16, which is 61.0 rounded, right? We're rounding to one decimal place. So 61, and don't forget degrees. <laughs>